there's a need to point out the latest craziness in media because it is trying actively to brainwash people into thinking that abnormal, unhealthy, and quite frankly, immoral and bad behaviors are gonna be good for you. So let's start with the New York Magazine. They have this front page cover of these cats, cute cats, but what are they using these cats to promote? Polyamory. And it says a, gu a practical guide for the curious couple. So they're promoting in their latest article and their front page of the magazine, the cover, they're promoting ultimately cheating on your spouse or your significant other in order to go and explore sexual relationships, sexual pleasure with other people. It's absolutely sad and deranged. You can't be too careful these days. The world has gone bloody mad. Okay, Teen Vogue. Here's another latest story coming out of Teen Vogue showcasing a young woman who cut off her breasts in order to show a teenage audience that self-mutilation of your breasts because you hate your womanhood is somehow okay. How is this good for young teens? It's so sad. We do not and we should not celebrate anorexia, the hatred of one's body, and we do not and we should not celebrate people who struggle and we do not and should not celebrate gender dysphoria, the condition where you hate your own gender, your own sex. Instead, we should be offering compassion and help, but never saying that you are born in the wrong body. There's something wrong with your body. There's something wrong with you. No, you may need help, but genital or bodily mutilation is never the answer. I think about Chloe Cole, who had a double mastectomy at age 15 because doctors did that to her. And she was confused thinking she was a him. She wasn't. She was always a her. She had DNA. Every cell in her body is a her. And she had a double mastectomy at 15. And now as a 19-year-old, travels the world talking about how damaging this whole thing is of the transgender craziness and cult. So shame on Teen Vogue for that. It's so sad. Girls deserve better. And this whole polyamory stuff. Also, we should celebrate true love and commitment and not cheating on oneself, spouse or self, even if somebody else says it's okay. 